When we first played on the Brooklyn Bridge, we were right at the beginning of our journey and all that we'd really solved was the answer of how to make you know, a retractable string, make music and use it as a sound control. We hadn't really worked out how to unearth the sound of the cables yet. And so what we've managed to do this year is do a lot of experiments with that. And so I hope that at Clifton we'll really be playing it like a harp and we'll be unleashing those sounds, the hidden sounds that are running through the cables, the subsonic sounds, and pitching them up to audible level and releasing them to the people of Bristol and all those who visit on that day. My name's Yuli, I work for a company called Reactify and we're here working with Dai and the team on the sound aspect of the human harp. So taking in all of the information from the various harp modules and converting them into sound. They're actually modified dog leads that have been taken apart and put together with lots of clever tech inside them. So we've got an encoder on this side which can detect how far it's been pulled out to the hundredth of a millimetre. Um, we've got on this tube here, this is a gyroscope, so it can tell us what angle it's actually being held out at. Um, and then on the inside here we've got a Wi-Fi chip with an accelerometer on it, and that's communicating with the laptop. And then there's another chip in there which is the encoder. Um, and then the whole thing just runs on batteries. And so in total we've got 12 of these. Um, here we've got three of them all with their own different sonic behaviours. So they're identical in hardware, but when they get um, put into the laptop, we give them each different behaviours. So this one is most akin to um, a stringed instrument, like a cello or a violin, that you're playing with a bow, and there's this relationship between how much energy you put in and how much sound you get out. So, so you get that kind of bowed action. The sound is something even more exciting because if you go in exactly in the middle you can hear all the reflections coming from the shape of the roof that is it's like a cone so um, you can appreciate an echo coming from the from the building if you see it exactly in the center so in my model I wanted to try to make this visible through the the design of the visualization.